Hey, Shalom. Shalom. Hey, before we get started, we're going to give our praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rechakwadash. Hey, the bonus to the apostles and editors of Great Man Stone, who teach them well, and peace and love to the elect of the nation of Israel. Hey, with the GMS Memphis account, on the brother Adna, to my uh, point of me. Hey, you know Allah? Right, and we just coming back again through the spirit power of Yahweh by Shem Shai. You know, pretty much going to our people, man. You know, our people is fucking pretty much stupid, you know, uh, it's, just, it's just too much how our people want Trump back in office, you got our people, when I say our people, I'm speaking about the Israelite, you know, of course, Judah, the black, the black nigga, black woman, and now you got Issachar, you know, the Mexicans, Mexicans, uh, what, is, what Esau call it, Spanish speaking niggas, mm -hmm. so our people want niggas for, um, tr niggas for Trump, 2024, 2023, however it might go, and it's just, it's crazy, man. That don't look to the Holy One of Israel as the scripture has said, man. Instead of just turning back onto the Lord, they want to eat a man over them. I like, eat a man that doesn't care for them at all, man. So we're just going to get some precepts up and watch this out of this lesson be edifying to the left. Okay. So this is Lamentations, chapter 4, starting at verse 17. As for us, our eyes as yet fail for our vain help. Yep. In our watching, we have watched for a nation that could not save us. And that's the point. Esau Edom, no man was to abide thee, no man should redeem thee. Mm. These nations, Esau Edom, of course, doesn't care about you, man. Look at all the, the experiment, the experiment, yep. you know, he yep. did, um, the trials he did on y'all, man. Y'all yep. still want a devil in office, man. Hey, then wait, that was man when you was talking about building a wall and stuff like that. Yeah, the nigga, the same nigga that said build a wall to keep Mexicans out, y'all nigga want him back in office. And you niggas, mm -hmm. y'all want him back in office. But here it is, y'all asked for Joe Biden, the most I gave you what you want. Yep. And now you complaining about it. And now you want the Trump back in office. Man. And a nigga favorite saying, we gotta choose to lesser evil. Which that doesn't make sense at all. Yeah. That you like saying, nigga, do you want HIV or you want AIDS? Yeah. What the fuck? Yep, yep. But this is our people, this is the mindset of our people, man. They are fucking gone. They threw mm -hmm. backwards, man. Hey, look at Isaiah 1 and 3. This yep. came to my spirit. Uh, this is Isaiah chapter 1 and verse 3. And it says, it's a lot here. This is Isaiah 1 and 3. And it says, the ox knoweth his owner, the ass his master crib. Like two stubborn animals. Go ahead. It says, but Israel doeth not know. My people doeth not consider. Right, our people don't consider. Our people don't consider to know the laws, that's commandments, the judgment, the righteousness of the Lord. They want to do their own thing. You know, they want to put strangers, devils over them. Man. They want to be in America, man. It's time to come out of America, yep. man. Yep. This place is bitter. It's, it's burning. Mm -hmm. But our people love it here, man. Yep. But for the elect, our place, the Abba Shah, he left a women in, man. You know, keep going. Verse 4. A sinful nation, a people laden with iniquity. Right, full of it. And love it. Yeah. They hide it not. Keep going. A seed of evildoers. A seed of evildoers. Children that are corruptors. Go ahead. They have forsaken the Lord, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. They have provoked the Holy One of Israel. Right, they have provoked the Holy One of Israel constantly. To this very day, they're steadily uh, provoking the Holy One of Israel, being our King, our Savior, man. See, our king will save us, man. That's, that's the name of the title. Our mm. king will save us, man. Not no fucking devil. It said the tender mercy of the wicked is cool, mm. man. Go ahead. And it says they have provoked the Holy One of Israel to, uh, to anger. To anger, go ahead. They are gone away backward. Gone. Go ahead. Verse 5. Why should ye be striking anymore? Go ahead. Ye, ye will revolt more and more. The whole head is sick. Wait, shit, the whole noggin is sick. It's corrupt. And your mind corrupt, shit. It's time to repent, Jake. That's why we out here, man. That's why the Lord set up his servants, the prophet, telling you what to uh to, to, to depart from evil and do good. Right. You know? But the whole head is sick. Go ahead. And it says, why should you be striking? Verse 5 in Isaiah chapter 1. Why should you be striking anymore? Stricken anymore? You will revolt more and more. Like you will rebel more and more. Mm -hmm. Constantly go off. So the Lord, like, why should I constantly just whoop your ass? 
the more I whoop your ass, the more you go, go off. off. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Uh, go ahead. And it says, um, ye will revolt more and more. The whole head is sick. Yep. The whole heart faint. Go ahead. From the sole of your foot, even unto the head. Even to the head, from top to bottom. You got people is gone, man. So that's why the Lord sent Jeremiah, the 11th chapter, pray not for these people, Ooh. man. Fuck these, hey, that's what we say, fuck the two thirds, man. Mm -hmm. If they want to stay here and, and let Esau Edom be their king, that's what this nigga said. Yeah. We should make Trump king. You know? <laughs> hey, get Isaiah 5 and 13. Come, come. This is Isaiah, jump into Isaiah chapter 5 and verse 13. So y'all, what's so Y'all for second and living water? Mm. Go ahead. Ooh, that. This is Isaiah 5 and 13. Therefore, my people are gone into captivity. I, we went into captivity. Why? Go ahead. Because they have no knowledge. So we have no knowledge. And the knowledge is start with fearing the Lord. We went to captivity because we did not fear the Lord. We chose strangers over it. And that goes right back to love. Uh, don't uh, another stranger to rule over thee, man. Mm -hmm. So we went to captivity because we had no knowledge, no fear. Go ahead. And it says, and they're, they have no knowledge. And their honorable men are famished. Right, these fucking sellouts, they threw too, man. Yep. Keep going. And their multitude dried up with thirst. Yep. Therefore, hell have enlarged herself. That's the point. Jump yep. to Jeremiah 2 and 13. Start, read 11, jump to 13. All right, Jeremiah 2. Jump to 11. This is Jeremiah 2. Well, you read, the, uh, you read down to 14. Okay, this is Jeremiah 2, starting at verse 11. And mm -hmm. it says... Have a nation changed their gods, which are yet no gods? They're pagan they're idols. Mm -hmm. We changed our living power, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the one that created heaven and earth, to man, to man gods, to idols, yep. to Buddha, to Jesus, a fucking statues mm -hmm. that don't talk, that don't smell, yep. that don't hear. Yep. We changed our glow to that, man. With our people, man, because we had turned back from these things, man. We turned back from worshiping idols, man. And the biggest idol there is is Jesus Christ, man. man. Yeah. That's not his true name. Mm -hmm. His true name is Yahweh Shah. He is our king, man. That's right. Keep going. It says, Have a nation changed their gods, which are yet no gods? But my people have changed their glory from that which does not profit. What? It's, it's don't profit you to, to worship idols, man. it's vain. You know, that's why the Lord said, but go and cry to the gods on whom you had chosen. Let them deliver you in the time of your affliction, in the time of your tribulation. Man. And that's exactly what's going to happen, man. Because you change your glory, you change your living power to something corrupt, corruptible, mm -hmm. something vain. Yep. That don't answer prayers. Man. So it's on you. Keep going. And it says, verse 12, be astonished, O ye heavens, at this, and be horrible afraid. Be ye very desolate, saith the Lord. For my people have committed two evils. <laughs> Go ahead. They have forsaken me, the fountain of living waters. Because what did the Lord say? Mm -hmm. John 14 and 6. I'm the way, the truth, and the life. Yep. You see? Mm -hmm. that, but our people, what, forsaken you, how it's shot? Yep. The Holy One is our king. Yep. They want another king, man. This is your king? Man. The nigga falling up the stairs? <laughs> buying? Man. Yep. Now you want Trump? Yep. Nigga who getting the <laughs> Persecuted, you know what I'm saying? Stealing documents and shit. You know what I'm saying? Known for extort. You want him? Come I, I, on, you man. want a devil? A devil that doesn't care about you at all, devil. man. Devil care about. Throwing tissue in your face. Come on, Keep going. Yep. It wouldn't even die for you. <laughs> all your people. This is uh, Jeremiah chapter um two in verse uh, thirteen. For my people have committed two evils. They have forsaken me, the fountain of living waters. And hew them out cisterns, broken cisterns that can hold no water. Right, like a you know a lunger bass with holes in it. Try, try to fill that up with water. Mm. It ain't gonna work, Jack. Mm -hmm. Keep going. And it says, verse fourteen: Is Israel a servant? Is he a homeborn slave? Why is he spoiled? And Jay still a fucking slave, man. Oh. Jay still got that slave mentality, man. What they call it, Stockholm uh, syndrome. syndrome. This syndrome. is our people, man. Yep. Yeah. Jump to Isaiah 30. Okay, come this, this is Isaiah chapter 30. Yep. This is Isaiah 30 and 1. It says, Woe 
to the rebellious children. Woe me destruction. And the rebellious children are you Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Blacks, Hispanics, Latinos, and Native American Indians, yep. man. And wherever you've been scattered to, Israel, been scattered to, they might look like the other nations. Mm -hmm. But your spirit goes back to Israelite. Woe unto you, man. That's why the Lord bring plagues upon the whole world, because Israel scattered amongst the whole world. Yep. So woe unto every last one of y'all. Go ahead. It says, um, saith, saith the Lord that take counsel but not of me. Right, you take counsel but not of the Lord. You ain't, you ain't looking at, at the counsel of the Lord. Mm. Nor that you don't care. Yep. Go ahead. It says, but not of me. And they cover with a covering spirit, but not of my spirit. Wait, not of the Lord's spirit. Because uh -huh. it was the Lord's spirit, you were coming up after that. It would be in righteousness, man. You would know the plan, his will, for America, man. Keep going. And it says, and they're covered with a covering, but not of my spirit, that they may add sin to sin. Exactly. And this is what Esau, you know, was set up for. Constantly, he, he called the accuser of our brethren for a reason, man. But our people don't care. We say our people have became more wicked than the wicked. wicked. Oh. So they constantly add sin to sin, day by day. And they glorify sin with this rap shit, this black culture shit, man. Mm -hmm. Keep going. Verse 2. That walk and go down into Egypt and have not asked in my mouth. Right, Egypt, the Monday Egypt is here, America, man. Mm -hmm. We in Memphis. Uh. You know, I know when um on the job when you know the head um ball CEO come in yeah, yeah, yeah. from Atlanta or from mm -hmm. um wherever they from, they always say, Well, I'm in Memphis, I mean I'm in Egypt now. Mm -hmm. You know, cause it's, it's just, come on, man. The Nile River, Mississippi River, yep. the See, just like it. Which is spiritually called Sodom, Egypt. Yep. Go ahead. And, and if I may add, it said, and have not asked in my mouth. And who is the mouth of the Lord? His prophets, man. Yeah. Ultimate, well, his counselors. Mm -hmm. That's why you're not taking counsel of him. And he set up his counsel, the prophets, man. Yep. What says so? Yeah, because the, that's a good point. Because the mouthpiece of the Lord is his servants, mm -hmm. the prophets. Mm -hmm. And the servants of the prophets telling you, Fuck this place, forsake this place, come out of her, my people. This is not your rest. Come back unto the Lord. We got a king that will save us. That is that is righteous. That's right. That will give us everything that our heart desires. Mm. But you putting your trust in, in the devil. Oh. And he lied to you. You gonna forgive student loan. That, you know, damn well that's a lie. Come on. But this is our people, yeah. man. Our people. Go ahead. This is uh Isaiah 32. They walk in to go down to Egypt. See, we got a king that said he gonna he not gonna remember our iniquity no more. But you wanna put your trust in a in a devil which he lying, he gonna forgive student loan, he gonna forgive you your debt, he gonna do this, he gonna do that. Yeah. And meanwhile, you still on the bottom. Yeah. You still on the bottom, working for crumbs. You still showing you niggas, you Latinos, you Mexicans, you Native Americans down in the street. Keep going. Yep. This is Isaiah 32. They walk to go down into Egypt and have not asked in my mouth to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh and to trust in the shadow of Egypt. Verse 3. Therefore shall the strength of Pharaoh be your shame. Your confusion. Keep going. In the trust in the shadow of Egypt, your confusion. Exactly. Because this is Babylon the Great, but Baal is great confusion. Mm -hmm. So Mel going to be your great confusion. It's an illusion. Let's jump to Isaiah 25. This is uh, Isaiah 25 and um, start at verse 8 or just jump to the point 9? This, 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 this to the point. Okay, this is Isaiah 25 and 9. It says, and it shall be in that day. In that day. And this is mm -hmm. the day we waiting on. And this should keep going. It says, lo, this is our power. We have waited for him. Right, this is going to be the day we're going to say we have waited for him. Because it's a commandment to wait. Yeah. We just went into the, uh, the commandment. You love me, keep my commandments. It's a commandment to wait on the Lord, you have a shot. Want to, you have lost patience, right? Mm -hmm. The Lord said, wait upon me till I rise to the prayer. So in that day, it's going to be said what? Yep. It says, we have waited for him, and he will save us. He's going to save all the ones that have waited on him, waited for him on his return. You know? Go ahead. It says, this is the Lord, Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shah. Mm -hmm. We have waited for him. We will be glad and rejoice in his salvation. Wait, this is the remnant. Lord willing, that's on us, man. you know, part of that chosen number. This is what we going to do, man. We going to wait on the Lord. Wait upon him, man. You know? 
So look at uh, Isaiah 33 and 22. Okay, this is Isaiah. Uh, this is a quick one I just got. This is uh, Psalms 37 and uh, 7. Rest in the Lord and wait patiently for him. Mm. Fret not that self because of him who prosper in his way because of the man who brings wicked devices to pass. Woo. That's it. Man. <laughs> So this is uh, Isaiah uh, chapter 33 and verse 22. It says, For the Lord, Yahweh by Shimei Hawashai, is our judge. Yep. And the Lord is our lawgiver. Yep. The Lord, Yahweh by Shimei Hawashai, is our king. Wait, the Lord, Yahweh by Shimei Hawashai, is our king. He is our king. We don't have to go ahead and vote. It's every fucking four years. You niggas is, is through, man. <laughs> it's through. Yep. Every every four years you want to go out and vote for, for a change. Yeah. Come on, man. It's time to wake up. No one is time to high time to wake out of sleep, man. Read again for the top. It's this Isaiah 33 and 22. For the Lord Yahweh by Shimei Hawashai is our judge. The Lord is our lawgiver. The Lord Yahweh by Shimei Hawashai is our king. He will save us. He will save us. All the ones that have waited on him patiently, mm. man. And that were, you know, patient going to what? Long suffering. Mm. So he will save us, man. Not you so-called Negroes, Blacks, Hispanics, Latinos. They have not waited for him. Yep. You, If you are not waiting on his return, your Ooh. ass is toast. Yep. Dang. You got to come back in Hebrew huggers on his own when he come back, man, yeah. in the kingdom of heaven. Because all Israel should be saved. Mm. But two-thirds, they ain't going to be cut off and die, man. So learn death by pain. Learn death by pain. So we gotta wait on the Lord. The Holy One of Israel, Yahweh Shai, he is our king, man. This is Psalms 37 and 34. Wait on the Lord and keep his way. Why like keep his laws and commandments? Beautiful. Kiss the sun. They said, wait on the Lord and keep his way, and he shall exalt thee to inherit the land. When the wicked are cut off, thou shalt see. And that's when mm. we wait on all with our eyes. To behold um, the downfall of the wicked, working the pale faces, mm -hmm. but wait on the Lord. Yep. Yep. The last hey, one. Hey, he gonna rise up and, 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 and take care of the, the prey, man. Who was the prey? These mm -hmm. other nations, man. Mm -hmm. He saw it, man. Hey, Yahweh Shai coming like the predator, man. And, 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 and Daniel, I explained hey, how he gonna take down these kingdoms, have that many crown. That's who gonna save us. We don't need no fucking Trump. No Barack Obama, no, not Nan person, man. And Barack that, Obama was a hellmite. He was a hellmite, yo. Yeah, he's yeah, going to captivity in the kingdom of heaven, Come man. On, man. Yeah, we don't need nobody that's not going to uh, try to establish the law. That's not going to try to establish the righteous law, man. man. Not these laws over here, man. We don't and, need nobody but your house shot to come back to Satan. That's, that's right. It, man. Con, con, you that's got the right. devil blown chemtrails in your head. That's right. Giving right. you gem more food. Man. No, RNA. You don't know what the fuck we eat. The nigga said we can we should, we should eat bugs and be happy. Nah, yeah. The nigga wanna put a chip in you. What the yeah, fuck? Yeah, he going. Radiation out, ever got down well? Man, we need to, we need the kingdom, man. Yeah. <laughs> Let's end up with that Hebrews. All right, so this is Hebrews chapter uh, five and verse nine. It says, um, "In being made perfect, he became the author." Of eternal salvation. The beginning of eternal salvation, man. Yahweh Shai died for his people. Start with the elect. Because the elect is waiting patiently on him, man. You see? He became the author. Go ahead. And being made perfect, he became the author of eternal salvation unto all them that obey him. Unto what? All it, and to all them that obey unto him. Unto all them. Yep. Not to everybody. All, unto all them that obey him. Him, because yeah. our people two thirds not obeying him, yeah. so they gotta die and come back in the kingdom of heaven. Mm -hmm. But we have a king, our king is Yahweh Shah, he will save us. Going right back to that Isaiah 33 and 22. Uh -huh. So, hey, uh, that pretty much it. It's more on that. Uh, I just I want to reverse 10. Go ahead. It says, Called of the Most High and High Priest after the order of Melchizedek. That's it. Yep, and we know he's going to Melchizedek. Well, that's the king and, and the priest, man. So that's who, that's who we need, <laughs> all right? Our, our true king, our true priest that's going to set up the order and law the statutes and righteousness in Israel, <laughs> literally, uh, <laughs> and our people, though, but you got it. Yeah, right. so, hey, with that, once again, we want to give our praises on the glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rechakwadash, a double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone. Teaching well, teaching love to the elect, 
That was the Nation Race with Vidal, Shalom, Shalom, Carmash Allah, Ball, Ball, Ball.